It's Jason with PandaDoc, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use and download the PandaDoc add-on for Google Docs. With this add-on, you'll be able to sign your existing Google documents using your PandaDoc account, or you'll be able to send those documents to PandaDoc to add additional fields or recipients. Now, to get started, you'll want to log in to both your PandaDoc account and your Google account. The email addresses from the two accounts need to match. If the email address that's associated with your PandaDoc account does not have a Google account associated, you can use this link in our FAQ to find out more about how to set that up. So the first thing that you'll want to do is open any Google document. And I have a test document that I've created here for our purposes. And from this screen, you're able to download additional add-ons. So you'll just click Add-ons get add-ons and then we'll go ahead and search for PandaDoc. Now you just add this by clicking the plus free sign. It's going to ask you which email address you want to use. I'm going to use the email address that's associated with my PandaDoc account here that's also my my Google account. And then I'm going to go ahead and allow the um, add-on to be installed. So once the add-ons installed we're going to have to go ahead and uh, authorize our account in PandaDoc. The way that you'll do that is the same way that you'll actually use the add-on. It's by clicking add-ons, PandaDoc, sign with PandaDoc. And the very first time when it opens up, it's going to have us go ahead and uh, authorize the account. So since I'm logged in here, and you can see this is my signature in my PandaDoc account, this will be pulled into the Google account to use. But I am logged in here, so all I have to do is click Connect to PandaDoc, and then Authorize. Now I can close this window, and this is now going to be set up here um, in my Google Docs. So to add a signature to sign one of my Google Documents, all I'll need to do is put the cursor where I'd like to add the signature. I want to add it here. Click it one time, and you wait and it'll add to the document. You can see it's pulled from my profile and my PandaDoc account. So if I wanted to sign this document myself and be done with it, I could just go ahead and click I just want to sign on my own. From here I can either forward a signed copy via email or I can download a PDF for myself. I'm going to go back to step one here and we're going to show how you can add other people to sign the document as well as add additional fields if you'd like. So here I have a spot for another signature here. What I'm going to do is click Next, Add Other People to Sign. I'm going to choose a recipient that I already have saved in my contacts in PandaDoc, and I'm going to click Next, Finalize, and then I'm going to click Preview and Send via PandaDoc. So when I click that button, it's going to take it from my Google Docs account to my PandaDoc account and I'll be able to edit and send as if it were any other document. So I'll go ahead and click this button and from here I'm going to be able to add a signature field for the recipient to sign and also if I wanted to I could add additional fields just like any other uploaded document. So for here I'll go ahead and take a signature field, pull it in here, since the recipient is already attached because it came in from Google, it's automatically assigned and this document is ready to be sent and signed. You'll have the option to name the document, um, add your custom email message just like you would any other document sent out of here. If you need any more information, feel free to visit our FAQ page. It'll have a whole walkthrough here. And if you don't find the answer, feel free to reach out to support at pandadoc.com. Thank you.